welcome back to my channel. My name is Meredith. I make a video every single Monday all about homemaking, cooking, cleaning, how I run my household of five. I'm currently gonna show you what's in my mom car. So I drive a Suburban, praise the Lord. Thank you to my husband for getting me this vehicle so I can fit all of these kids in here and all of our stuff. Um, I have, we have three kids, so that's the biggest factor in getting a bigger vehicle. I also forget where to what, look every single time. So I turn my air conditioner down so you can hear me, but I have turned on my air conditioning seats or my seat right here, which if you don't know, I live in Tennessee and it is so hot here in the South. My kids are playing in the garage while I do this. Um, so thank you for watching. Make sure you are subscribed again. My name is Meredith and I make a video every single Monday. So Meredith Monday, remember that marketing strategy. I'm a genius. So this week's episode, I'm going to show you my mom car. Again, I drive a Suburban. We have three kids. So that is the biggest factor in getting a big, bigger vehicle. I am five, eight and a half, five, nine. So I am taller. All my kids I can tell are going to be taller. So we need space. I mean, just leg space cargo space oh my gosh pause my child's on our car. okay so that's my youngest this is just gonna be the safer route to get this done um okay so i tried to show like a tour of the things that i loved the most like these air conditioning seats for me which is a must the parking assistant since the suburban is gigantic compared to other vehicles um my husband is saying it's only like 20 inches lo like longer than other things so my biggest fear I don't really care about parking oh I do like curbside pickup on everything anyways um, but like going through a drive-thru I've not gone like through Starbucks or Chick-fil-a well I do curbside for Chick-fil-a anyways but like the Starbucks drive-thru I'm scared I'm gonna curb it otherwise I'm not really worried because we I mean we can't fit it in our garage which is fine because we've got to have the cargo space for three so we have like I said three kids so I have we have captain's chairs which is amazing, I love, because I can separate all three kids. I think I say this later on in the video when I'm editing this, but that was my number one thing. I'm like, yes, we can do three across, but unless we don't have to, oh my gosh, separate them. The moms and dads, I mean, everyone will understand with kids. It's nice to have, for them to have their own space and to be separated. So we have, um, my youngest is a toddler, he's like a year and a half, he's still rear facing. So if we put him directly behind me and I'm about, five eight and a half five nine so I still have plenty of leg space and he has plenty of space to be rear facing with his legs um, the type of car seat that he has is the Graco extend to fit so you can extend it out so his legs have space and then my three and a half year old is back here in the middle and then my um, oldest I put here so he can kind of reach everybody and then he can already unbuckle and everything by himself and get in and out of the car for like the car line pickup since pick up and drop off will be on the right hand side of that. So again, sorry if this is like the lighting's bad or it's sporadic, spastic. I'm just trying to, oh my, it looks super wet right there. Um, I'm just trying to get this done. So um, if you have any questions, I'm sure I've miss, missed stuff in this tour, comment below and ask me. Um, I tried to give a tour mainly of the car seats are the number one factor like in a mom car how are you going to fit all these car seats when they're young and what is the cargo space because for me i actually i had to have cargo space like we don't necessarily have the double stroller anymore but if none of our family lives close to us so if we travel we've got to have space for stuff and that's the headphones for the dvd player so we have two dvd players you'll see later on in this video it's amazing i can control it from here um, you quickly just click it and boom, it's ready to go. Um, the other features, I mean, air conditioned seats, the, the parking assistant, that's what I was talking about. The parking assistant I love because it shows me like up on the windshield, how fast I'm going and if cars are next to me. And, um, again, since this is a suburban and it's really long, it helps my seat will actually like the chair vibrates if I'm too close to anyone. Um, behind me or if I'm parking or here somebody else comes in the car what yeah. okay now everybody's just gonna get it um so here is my mom car I drive a Suburban I love it so I have space for everyone I can still this is the, my daughter sitting in the third row there 
So I'm able to assist like my baby and then still help her unbuckle that bottom part um, because she's not able to do that. It is super hard. My son was able to do it easily and she just struggles with that. So here's obviously the driver's side. We put my son who is still rear facing behind me um, because my oldest son, he will start first grade. So I need him to be able to like get in and out of the car. Um, this school will be like on his right hand side. So this is kind of how we have it set up. So here's the front, um, the middle console. I just have random things in there. I barely have anything in this vehicle right now, which is why I'm giving you like a little tour of how I have everything set up while it's still semi clean. Okay. So we have two DVD players, one in the like the front, well, the middle, the middle seats, and then the third row. There's also a DVD player. I loved that feature. I do have a sunroof there. So this is how we have our three kids set up. Um, I have two that are forward facing and one that is still uh, dirty, um, still, still rear facing. So here's directly behind me, the driver's seat is uh, my one and a half year old and he will remain rear facing for at least another year. So there's still plenty of room for me. I am about five, eight, five, nine, and I still have plenty of space to be able to drive with the seat back as well as have his seat rear facing correctly um, and giving him enough leg space as well. This is like one of the number one reasons why we had to purchase a bigger vehicle. Um, previously, I had had, I think it was like the Infinity QX56, which was great for like um, passengers but the car itself, just we ended up having a lot of issues with it. So this is why we chose the Suburban for this seating setup. So we can still have three. I could actually put all three kids in the back. Um, and this is my favorite part. Check out this cargo space. It's basically like a mini apartment in New York City. It's gigantic. You could fit, when I had a double stroller, I could fit a double stroller and like plenty of other suitcases back here. So this is my little cargo type organizer that I have. I just have Lysol wipes. Um, in the winter, I'll have blankets and bottled water. I have, of course I have diapers and wipes. Um, I need to put a change of clothes in here actually for the kids. And then a little mini vacuum back there. But I also have um, plenty of space for groceries. So I can put groceries back there or anything else that I need back there. I also love it because now I could add, like, if you have kids where you need to change their diaper, you could actually hide. I've never had space in a vehicle to change a diaper. I'm always doing it like in the front seat or passenger seat in the front. I also love these um, xylitol toothbrushes for if you like, you need to brush your teeth or your kid's teeth. Um, I also keep hair things and a hairbrush back here too. If we're running errands or going to school or anything and I need to do my daughter's hair or just kind of like quick, quick touch-ups. That is that little like a floor mat or like a, um, okay. So here's, you can have a charger back here. Um, you can also control the middle seats and the third row seats. They're all electrically controlled. And I think I show it later, but there's all three anchors. I might show it now. Okay, I do. All three, this is the third row and all of them have the anchor system, which you just pop that little cloth thing down and the anchor is right there, which is, again, the number one thing that I was looking for. I want easy access to that. Um, and then you can close it with a button. Luckily, my husband, he's amazing. He <laughs> cleaned all the car seats and moved them to my new vehicle. So he said it was really easy. I mean, as easy as you can get moving car seats. But so here's what the passenger seat looks like. That's just my paperwork for the new vehicle. Plenty of space. Love the cup holders, love the setup. Um, that screen right there can actually go up and there's a little charger in the middle so you can charge your phone in the dash right there where I have the charger or um, I don't think I take the camera up, but where that screen is right there, you can lift that screen up and there's an additional charger there where you could get a tiny, tiny charger and actually keep a phone back in there. So this is my youngest setup so i have bubble poppers are amazing for in the car i keep his shoes right there because we all know toddlers immediately take their shoes off every single time so i just keep his shoes right there for him and then i have like toys wipes extra wipes water bottles kind of anything that we would need okay so that i keep right there 
Um, additionally, like there's a cup holder here um, for your passengers, which I love. I'm all about that cup holder life. And I think that does fit. I can't remember. Okay, it does. So that's just like the Camelback um, kids water bottle, which fits in there, which is amazing to have. So we have captain's chairs, which is another thing that I wanted because having three kids, I want them separated. I cannot tell you how thankful I am to have all three of them separated where they can't touch one another. Um, I'm sure it's not going to help cut back much on fighting, but we'll see. I'm going to tell myself that it is. And sorry if I'm talking too fast. I'm just trying to make sure I include everything that I want to on here. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the uh, bottom bar below. So there's the first DVD player and the second DVD player. It's very easy to use. I hit like two buttons up front. Um, and I put the physical DVD in up front near me. Now I love, again, I love our cargo space back here. Um, my son had baseball camp that week, so I could put his cleats there, his tennis shoes there. That way it didn't damage or dirty the carpet as much. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but at least it's helpful. He could physically fit in the back to get changed or put his shoes on where I could reach him. Again, I'm taller, so it's nice to be able just to have space and to be able to access everything. Um, I could put his cooler back here, his bag, um, have a little Bible, some just pens and notebook paper, and just anything else that we would need. So here's some, okay, this is the parking assistant. My, my number one concern with getting a bigger vehicle was where like to be able, where am I gonna park it? And I was scared I was not gonna be able to go through a drive through because I'm gonna curb everything. Um, so that's something that I have to get used to, but this parking assistant helps because your driver's seat actually vibrates when you're in reverse if somebody is too close behind you, since you, the Suburban is longer. I think it's about 20 inches longer than like a regular Chevy Tahoe or something similar to that. And yes, I'm about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, with my gigantic bun, and I still have plenty of, <laughs> of space to move around. So here is a trip where I actually went grocery shopping in the store by myself, um, which is a rarity. So here's the, how the DVD players are. It actually works up front when you were in park. So if you're in the car line pickup or something, it's nice. If your kid wants to get in the front, um, they can watch the movie there. Also, these air-conditioned seats, glorious, absolutely glorious. I'm in the driver's seat and I immediately put that on. Um, I live in the South in Tennessee and it gets so hot. So it's okay, wonderful to have that. Slump down to get this done. So thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, are subscribed and like this video. And if you have any other questions about this suburban vehicle and what I store in here and keep to just make this household functional, let me know. Again, my name is Meredith. Thank you so much for watching. I make a video every single Monday and I'll see y'all next week.